all right you guys how's it going thanks for tuning into this video today so today I've got a top 10 list of ways to improve your tips and on a side note you guys this top 10 list does not include driving with a clean car or driving safe I think at this point if you are not driving safe and you are not driving with a clean car you may need to reevaluate your strategy. All right, so before I get into this top 10 list, my name is Matt. I appreciate you watching this video. I appreciate you tuning in today. Do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up, and if you have not already subscribed to this channel, please subscribe at this time, right now. All right, top 10 list, how to get more tips. Phone chargers. Have extra phone chargers. I keep phone chargers in my car. It is um, the most requested item that I've ever gotten. Everybody needs to charge their phone. Have your phone chargers handy. Um, I also keep some mints in, in my center divider here, um, mostly for myself, because I like to chew on some mints while I'm driving. But when I go to get one, I will offer one to my passengers as well. Sometimes they take one, sometimes they don't. I don't do anything else. If you do anything else, it's up to you. My tip for number one here is phone chargers. Keep those phone chargers handy. All right, number two. If your passenger gets on their phone, turn your music down as a courtesy. They'll notice it, they'll appreciate it. All right, moving into number three. If your passenger says, okay, I know navigation is gonna tell you to go this way, but if you wouldn't mind, please go that way. Why not? It's not a big deal. It's not like they're taking you way out of your way. Um, I'm flexible like that. I have no problem with that. I recommend that. I just think little courtesies like that go a long way. Passengers notice. Passengers will appreciate it. And it could result in a tip. So, um, all right. Moving into number four. Take long rides. So you might be thinking, well, we're at the mercy of of Uber and Lyft to give us a long ride. Well, what I do is the night before I drive and the day of um, driving, I will go in and I will look for those scheduled rides. That's how I get my airport rides. Uh, I see that they're scheduled and I grab them before anybody else does. And um, so how does this relate to tips? I generally get a tip on all long rides, especially a ride to the airport, I will generally get a tip. So go after those long rides. Not only are they profitable, but they keep, they're they usually gonna end up um, with a tip. Number five, be nice. Greet your passenger when they get into your car, smile, say hi, be nice. They'll appreciate it. Um, and they will definitely, uh, it definitely will in, in, in increase your chances of a tip. Just be nice. It's very simple, but it goes a long way. All right, <clears throat> number six. So you may have noticed the same thing I've noticed in the uh, in the months that I've been doing um, rideshare. Most passengers will sit in the passenger side back seat. They have a clean view of our dash. They can see how fast we're going. Be aware of that. Be aware of the fact that your passenger can see how fast you're going. That could impact tips. Um, so definitely be aware of that. All right, moving forward. Number seven, bear with me because I have my list. That's why I keep looking back and forth in case you're wondering. So number seven, help with luggage. So I mentioned airport trips, might be a hotel trip. Definitely help with the luggage. Simple thing to do, but goes a long way. Help with the luggage. All right, number eight, uh, music. Be flexible with your music. Offer to change the station, offer to put on something else. In my experience, it's very, very rare, extremely rare, like almost never, do, do they say, yeah, if you could please do me a favor and 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 change that radio station. Um, I don't know if that's because I, I, I tend to play pretty neutral music in the first place. If you play music that's not so neutral, um, it might be helpful, even more helpful for you to offer to change the station. We're in the car a lot 
and a lot of the time that we're in the car we don't have passengers and we get to listen to whatever we want as loud as we want do whatever we want when we have a passenger in the car we're conducting business basically we're running our own business and we're conducting business when we have a passenger in the car it goes a long way to at least offer to change the station they'll usually say no number nine read your passenger so what does this mean that means this means that when they get into your car and you ask them how they're doing how's their day whatever small talk you might do in the beginning you'll know you'll know right away you should know right away if you have the ability to read people at all you'll know if they are quick and short with their responses they might not want conversation. If they don't ask you how you're doing and how's your day, they might not want conversation. If they elaborate on their answer, if they do ask you a follow-up question, then maybe they do want to have some sort of conversation with you. Just read your passenger and you'll know. You'll know. <clears throat> All right, number 10. So in my time um, driving rideshare, I've been asked twice by passengers to pull into a fast food restaurant and go through the drive through So <clears throat> both times, I said yes. I didn't see it as a big deal. I said yes. I took them through the, the, the drive through I got them what they wanted. And um, both times, I did receive a tip. So that's a tough one. That one's really up to you. I personally, like I said, don't have a problem with it. I will generally do it. I've done it twice. If uh, I'm out driving today and, and um, somebody asks me, I will probably say yes. I just don't think it's that big of a deal and I'm going after tips, tips help. So um, that's kind of my stance on that. What's yours? All right, you guys, that is um, 10 items that could help you get tips and help improve your tips. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and um, don't forget to drive safe out there. I had to throw in that drive safe and keep your car clean. All right. Have a good day. Be safe.